Welcome to the Nothing Much Just Chillin' Show with your hosts Emma and Julio. Nothing Much Just Chillin' Show. Nothing Much Just a Chillin'. Welcome back to NMJC, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Emma, and this is Nothing Much Just Chillin'. I'm a very chill person, and I like to chill with my friends on the internet and it's just a cozy chill time so just cuddle up on a couch or a bed and uh we're gonna have some story time today because a lot has gone on since the last episode that I filmed it was the last episode that I filmed at my downtown LA apartment I thought that that was one of the last days that I would ever be in that downtown LA apartment, but I was very mistaken. (laughs) So we're gonna start off this episode on a, it's a negative note, but now that things have gotten better, it's more of like a, ha ha, look at what shit we went through. Like that was crazy and that sucked. And I was very mentally unstable for the first two weeks of, of 2023 but you know what things are getting better that's all you can hope for right like i'm very very grateful that there seems to be some light at the end of this very long tunnel and that is the energy that i'm trying to bring into the rest of this year because y'all know in the last episode i was like "Ah, i want i want peace for this new year i want 2023 to be about peace about to move into this great new apartment julio is gonna have a really great commute to work i'm gonna do a lot of the things that i've been meaning to do for my career i'm going to set up more of a routine for myself i'm gonna be the best highest version of myself and you know that is really how i feel right now i feel like 2023 has just started for me this past weekend still not very grounded yet because I don't know where I'm going to live because (laughs) all right let's let's backtrack because I filmed recorded the last episode the day before our big moving day and what a day it was a tiring day it was a long day we had the help of our friend Risley Risley if you're listening Uh, thank you so much again for helping us on that day it it was truly uh, I just can't describe how much we appreciated you helping us that day because moving sucks like moving is one of the most stressful things in life that sounded too dramatic it's definitely not one of the most stressful things in life I guess it's one of the most stressful things in life if you have the privilege to have a home with hot water heat and gas like we didn't so so we moved all of our stuff on december 29th and over the course of that next four days of that weekend we moved the rest of our stuff but we weren't going to officially move into our new apartment until january 2nd because january 3rd was the earliest appointment that we could get for socal gas which is the gas company here in la and they have to come and turn on the hot water and the gas and the heat and all those necessities for making the home habitable so because we moved everything that thursday including our bed we just slept on the floor of our downtown la apartment for four nights Yeah, we just slept on a bunch of blankets. It was actually very uncomfortable. (laughs) I usually sleep with like the most soft pillow ever. Like I barely use a pillow. I use just like the smallest bit of it. And it's usually not that big of a problem if I'm on, you know, my, my bed, my mattress. But when I'm on the floor and not like sleeping without the pillow, my neck hurts so bad the next day. Oh my God, it was so bad so like for four days i was waking up like oh my god i can't do this i can't sleep on the floor anymore and then on january 2nd we gathered up all of the blankets all of uh, our bathroom stuff and the stuff we were using for the past four days living still in downtown we took every last bit of our stuff moved it to our west side apartment and officially moved in 
on January 2nd, knowing that the next day we needed to be there at our new apartment at 7 a.m. because the window of time that SoCal gas was going to come turn on our heat, gas, and hot water was between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. Really long window. (laughs) And so on January 2nd, we didn't have any hot water or heat or gas in our new apartment yet, but it was fine because we were like, we can be cold for one night. We have all these blankets. We'll cuddle. It'll be fine because we know that the next day, our hot water, heat, and gas will be turned on. So we're going to survive. We're going to survive. It's fine. And then to heat ourselves up before going to bed, we went on a very long walk in our neighborhood, which also was just so great because in downtown, I, I just I hate. Plus, it's not safe to walk at night in downtown. It's just, it's not the best brightest idea in the world to walk at night in downtown LA you know but it just is what it is I'm not saying that you know it's a really unsafe place and there's all this crime and you know there there is to an extent but like I just don't want to I hate I don't like the people who like demonize downtown LA or other parts of LA that are just known I guess for crime I just I don't want to contribute to that narrative that like downtown LA is like some dark scary place I think I went through that last episode but yeah it's fucking it's fucking nice to not to walk outside at night it really is in a safe neighborhood where you know there's just like old people and families here and it's really it's a nice neighborhood and I really enjoy it and I really like that I don't have to think about the time of day when I walk because I love walking if you know me I love to walk walking is one of my favorite things to do it's my favorite form of exercise I used to run a lot when I was younger but I just found that like walking for like an hour and a half gives me the same like not runner's high because it's not runner's high but it gives me the same like de-stressing high I guess that like running two to three miles used to give me and it doesn't hurt my knees or I don't know there's just like so many things about growing older that you're like oh maybe I should like take care of my joints and like walking is better (laughs) for joints but I still enjoy running from time to time but I just I don't do it multiple times a week like I used to anyways we're on this long walk to warm us up before bed and we're walking these streets are just like eating up our positivity you know the the fucking this neighborhood on the west side is just hearing us be like oh my god tomorrow is gonna be great we're gonna get hot water heat and gas in this apartment and we can start fully living here and this is gonna be such a great experience and julio can walk to work or longboard and we're gonna get bikes and we're gonna bike to the beach and we're gonna be west side girlies we're gonna be beach babes you know (laughs) me and julio (laughs) we're gonna love our lives you know this is gonna be a really good change of pace from downtown even though we loved downtown like this is this is gonna be good for us and even if we're only here for a year which is what we were planning on just being here for a year anyways like this is gonna be a cool year living on the west side being really close to the beach and close to julio's work being close to this restaurant that we love that we can walk to from this place like we're regulars there now we've been regulars since may (laughs) we love this area that we moved into and yeah we were just like hyping it up we were being so positive like yeah life's about to get so good 2023 is gonna be so good and this week's gonna be amazing settling into this new place and julio took off work that week so that we could settle in fully and do all like the moving things that we needed to do that a person needs to do you know make sure we have trash cans and and we needed to get you know a a dish rack because we don't have a dishwasher and we threw out like all of our old cutlery and plates and bowls we need to buy new ones and just getting this apartment ready to be lived in basically is what we were planning to do the first week of january but the universe said no (laughs) nope (laughs) you're not gonna do that it's not gonna be that easy and you're gonna be laughing at yourself for being so positive on january 2nd yeah so the next day socal gas comes yay we're ready for him 
and this little guy comes and he does a bunch of stuff he's going in our kitchen he's going where the heater is he's going under the building in the crawl space to be able to turn on the hot water and the heat and the gas because that's where all that is in the crawl space under the building (laughs) but yeah he goes under there he comes back and he goes sorry to tell you this but there's a gas leak and there's a pipe missing and i don't he said so many things that were wrong and we were just like what the fuck we just moved in to this apartment this apartment that should have been habitable like should have been able to have people live in it like there was nobody living here before us not nobody ever but like for a long period of time nobody has lived in this apartment before we moved in so the management had to have done their due diligence to check out everything to go in that crawl space and check on the gas and the heater and all this stuff and it it was just wild to us that that was overlooked and not inspected before we even signed the lease obviously that was bad news we were upset about it and we're like fuck uh, we can't shower here today we have to go back to downtown because luckily our lease in downtown did not expire until january 10th because of some weird like 30-day rule thing because we told them we were moving out i think december 10th is when we knew that we were going to move here to this new apartment so we had until january 10th at the downtown la place and of course we paid for it we paid for those 10 days and when we paid for those 10 days we're like oh this sucks it's just like a waste of money because we're not even going to come back here we're not even going to use it we're just going to come back on january 10th to return our keys but we'll keep our keys just in case just in case we need to go back for whatever reason (laughs) and unfortunately there was a reason so that day we had to go downtown we had to bring our shower stuff i brought the new shower curtain that i bought for our new place because i had already thrown out our old one at our old place and the bath mat because it was disgusting and we had to bring our shower stuff and shower there thinking that the next day because we sent the slips that socal gas like wrote out like what was wrong like we sent those to our management and trusted our management to know who needed to be called in order to fix a gas leak and the pipe missing thing all the technical things were in the slip that socal gas gave us and we sent it to our management trusting that they knew the right person for the job to make our unit habitable because we started paying for this apartment on january 1st and so the next day instead of you know getting going with our moving stuff with unpacking our things with going to target you know all that kind of shit instead of that we had to wait again a long period of time for a maintenance person to come fix the gas leak and then tell us that we can now contact socal gas to come back and turn everything on because everything is fixed and safe also i forgot to mention that when we came to sign the lease there was noise upstairs and i was like oh who lives above us to our apartment manager and she was like oh yeah i think it's um i think it's a husband and a wife and i was like oh cool awesome i was like that's great like it's probably like a young married couple great that first night that we slept here when we were cold i got woken up by a screaming baby i really hope you can't hear the baby screaming right now because the baby is screaming right now unfortunately it's a very cute baby so i can't be that mad at it i'm just mad at our our apartment manager for not disclosing that there was a baby upstairs it's like she was like lying like we would figure it out you know like it's just a weird thing to like lie or like neglect to to tell us 
in this apartment we don't have shared walls but we do you know have these people above us and we can hear like everything that they do we hear every single footstep we hear the baby running back and forth like running a fucking marathon all day so it's not like we would have not figured out that there's a baby upstairs so yeah no trust for the apartment manager at all and then yeah the next day a worker comes and tells us the exact same things that SoCal Gas already told us and says that we need to hire somebody else, that our apartment management needs to hire somebody else, that there's another expert that is equipped to deal with a gas leak and all that stuff, but they're not it. They're just an appliance company or whatever. So we waited all day for these people to come and tell us what we already knew. (laughs) And that same exact thing happened the next day. And also like all of these days, that we don't have hot water, heat, and gas. We're driving downtown at night when there's no traffic to shower, have a hot shower, and get some heat, get some warmth because we are freezing here (laughs) because it's been so cold in LA. And I know it's not like cold, cold, right? It's not snowing, but it's been cold and rainy for LA and I, we need heat. (laughs) Oh my God. And also their response to us being like, we need heat (laughs) instead of fixing the furnace you know, the the thing that comes with the apartment, they gave us the smallest space heater I've ever seen in my life. Like, it barely does anything. <laughs> but we're still using it because it's all we have right now. So, so yeah, the same thing happens the next day, Thursday, right? Tuesday, January 3rd, SoCal Gas comes the next day. Someone comes, tells us the same thing. The next day, Thursday, somebody comes and tells us the same thing. And then We can't get another person to come until Saturday. He comes, tells us the same thing. (laughs) And at this point, we're going crazy. Like, I am having violent thoughts. Like, I am just, like, psychotic at this point because I'm, I'm a fucking girl without hot water, heat, or gas for cooking. So we have to eat out all of our meals. We have to, like, go other places to be able to shower we have to go back downtown in the pouring rain (laughs) like almost getting into several car accidents to be able to have a hot fucking shower it was a lot and i had a photo shoot that day that saturday and um it went well all overall but i was just like this would be so much nicer if i knew that i was going home to an apartment that i really loved and not hot water and heat but it was really funny because i well not funny i was like trying not to tell my parents about these unfortunate events because i didn't want to worry them and my dad last time i was home he was like you and olivia olivia my sister he was like you and olivia need to call more because every time you call it's because something is wrong and i get worried when you guys call because i know something is wrong (laughs) which like fair very fair dad (laughs) and i wanted to call him all that week after things were fixed and get on the phone and be like haha like this it's so funny we didn't have hot water heat but it's fixed now everything's good now and you know we love our apartment and our management fixed it in a timely manner and we love them and this apartment is great for us and life is so good and be and we're gonna slay the year <laughs> but no <laughs> it's like i can't call and be like i'm losing it this is the worst week of my fucking life <laughs> i can't do that to him or my mom <laughs> so uh, <laughs> As I'm driving back from Malibu on on Saturday for my shoot. Wow, that sounded so fucking bougie. As I was driving back from my photo shoot in Malibu. (laughs) But I mean, true. But as I was driving back from Malibu, my friend Tommy from home texts me and is like, Hey, like just saw your mom and dad are at this restaurant that they go to. And they said, you guys are doing so well and you just moved. Like happy to hear things are well or something like that. And I just, when, as soon as I read that, when I was driving, I immediately called him because I was like, you, you got the wrong story here. (laughs) You got the wrong story. (laughs) 
that my life is far from good right now we are far from well okay we are uh, we are unwell we are so unwell that like him saying like it's so good to know you're doing it. it's so nice to hear your things are going well like my body went into like i like groaned and like laughed at the same time because it was so fucking hilarious but also like ugh. <laughs> my parents think i'm doing well but i'm doing horribly I'm cold and I don't have hot water and I can't cook in my own apartment and I can't take on any jobs this week for like my temp agency because I don't know when I'm going to be able to shower like it was just it was a lot so I called him and yeah I just I was like yeah no this this is this is what's going on so anyways on Tuesday January 10th which is the last day of our downtown LA lease because after that I was like if we still don't have hot water by January 10th we no longer have our downtown LA apartment and now I either have to drive downtown to shower at Esme's or try to find some west side friends who will lend us <laughs> their shower which we had a lot of people honestly we had I had a lot of messages for people saying like you can come shower at my place and or just come and get some warmth and like honestly I've just <laughs> I appreciate that so much like people are so nice people were being so kind to me and to julio during the situation and i really like thank you if you're one of those people who reached out like that it means so much because i i always appreciate people being kind to me but especially during this i was like you're you're giving me hope for humanity because i have very little right now dealing with my apartment management so yeah tuesday january 10th finally someone who could fix the gas leak and all the problems down under in the crawl space came fixed it and they were like oh well they actually they didn't fix the furnace they said somebody else has to fix that but they fixed the gas leak actually no i'm forgetting that these people actually came on monday to fix it and then i called socal gas and socal gas came out and he said he couldn't fix it that day because it was like raining and he didn't have his like coveralls to be able to go under the crawl space or some shit i don't know but whatever he came the next day at like noon turned on the hot water turned on the gas but again couldn't turn on the heat because it's broken and it's spoiler alert it's still broken now we still don't have heat we just have this little space heater <laughs> it's just yeah i've been cold like every time i sit down to pee it's like my butt is sitting on an icicle and it's not fun and even now even with the hot water the hot water in the shower is is fine thank god but the hot water in the kitchen in the sink and the bathroom sink takes forever like i have to run it for like 10 minutes before it turns hot like it's actually insane so he says gas is on and hot water is going to be on in 45 minutes and that day january 10th i had to go return our keys and our laundry card for our old apartment anyways so i was like okay you know what i'm going to i had this whole plan like i'm going to go back to our downtown la apartment i'm going to have a little self-care day just for like one two hours i was gonna do exfoliate i was gonna epilate i was gonna shower i was gonna moisturize i was gonna have the heat on while i'm plucking every strand of hair out of my body and yeah i was just gonna have a last shower there and then get all of our bathroom stuff that was still there because we we're just going there to shower and then return the keys and never be seen there again but <laughs> i get to my door and there's all this shit outside my apartment door and i'm just immediately like oh no and i open the door and there's no carpet all the carpet is ripped out there's two workers there working on the apartment basically just getting it ready for the next tenant but i haven't returned my keys yet and i think they needed to have my keys <laughs> before starting to work on my apartment because it was still hours for that day and julio had emailed them the day before and will be like emma will return the keys at her earliest convenience so i didn't return the keys and i walked into the apartment and it was no longer my apartment it was a construction site i don't understand but whatever long story short 
I was like, okay, hey guys, I guess I can't shower there. And they're like, oh yeah, no, sorry. I'm like, okay, well, it's not your fault. It's the management fault for telling them that, for telling you that you can do all this and work on my apartment. That's still my apartment for today. And so, yeah, I like stepped over all their construction stuff and got what was left of our stuff in the bathroom. And then I went down to the leasing office and just was like, what, why did you do that? I did not return the keys yet. Why? And the, oh my God, she was so, mm, she was so fucking frustrated, (laughs) this lady. She was like, oh, well, I was told that the keys were already returned. It's like, who told you that? The keys, the keys are in my hand right now. They're not returned. What, what the fuck do you mean? Like we have communicated over communicated to you when these keys will be returned and it was only 1 p.m it was earlier than 1 p.m like that's that's still early for a place that we have until midnight that day so anyways we got into it but she is prorating us for one day of rent because they should not have done that i stand by that this wonderful day self-care day to myself was ruined and it was just like the cherry on top of a horrible week and a half but whatever just overall our apartment management has been really bad at handling this and we've just been really mad about the situation and mad at them and really just frustrated about a lot of things and there are a lot of things that we overlooked about this apartment before we sign the lease like a lot of things are broken like a lot of the windows are broken like some of the windows aren't even usable like if we tried to open them the whole thing would just like fall apart (laughs) it's a really old building so yeah because of their negligence they are letting us break our lease so we are moving (laughs) again and yeah we're in the midst of apartment shopping apartment hunting right now and we found some good places and we are looking at the east side because julio's like fuck the commute i don't care i'd rather live somewhere where we love and have an apartment that we love and have everything work and not have to live in a shitty apartment on the west side just so i could have a good commute if you didn't know west side apartments in la are usually more expensive like you can get more bang for your buck if the further east that you go and we like the east side better anyways like of course i said i love the area that we live in but i love it to an extent like it does feel very white and a little bit old not like being white and old is bad but you know what i mean like i'd rather just like live amongst real angelinos (laughs) we think the east side is cooler anyways (laughs) that's what a poor person would say the east side is so much cooler anyways fuck the west side it's like that's somebody who can't afford to live comfortably on the west side okay this she's talking right now okay (laughs) so yeah that's what's going on now um it was it was a week from hell honestly but you know what it's done we're moving on we're gonna move again moving sucks like we might hire a moving company just because it's a lot it's a lot now we have like way more furniture to move now because we got so much furniture in the last not so much furniture but we got like large pieces of furniture in the past two weeks shopping for this new apartment before we knew that we were going to move but the things that we got are still things that we're going to keep in whatever new apartment that we have but aside from that i started a new part-time temp gig at a design showroom in culver city and it's really cool i like it so far and I think it's only going to be for like maybe like two, three more weeks, but it's a good gig nonetheless. I really am enjoying it and my supervisor there is super chill, super nice, and it's honestly one of my favorite temp gigs that I've had. Okay, guys, I have something to tell you because I feel like last year there was, you know, starting in September, I was like, oh, I got this new great gig and I can't tell you guys because I signed an NDA. And I think I just don't know how NDAs work. Like, I really don't, really don't get them at all. Like, I I barely read the thing when I signed it because I don't fucking care. I was gonna, I was gonna do it no matter what. If it was, if this person was like, I want your firstborn child, I would have been like, okay, yeah, for sure. 
I'll work for you. <laughs> but Julio has informed me that I can, in fact, say who I work for. I just can't share, like, the details and stuff. But I can say what I do. And, you know, it's on my resume. So, so I will tell you who I work for. I edit Kelsey Kreppel's podcast, Circle Time. I edit the video version that goes up on YouTube every Friday. And if you don't know Kelsey Kreppel, you should because she's so funny she does these like fashion review youtube videos she does vlogs and she's hilarious super funny girl and circle time her podcast is amazing she used to be a preschool teacher before she was an influencer so that's why it's called circle time it's like an adult circle time if you don't know anything about the preschool world circle time is like their morning gathering i guess where they discuss like calendar and have story time and journal time and she kind of has like the adult version of that on her podcast circle time and it's a really great podcast i really love it i really love editing for her and working for her she's super chill super nice and her team is amazing and the audio editor i love him as well and we have like this a cute little team formed and i love it it's my favorite gig right now (laughs) so i want to be editing for more podcasts so I've been trying to, you know, obviously my schedule has been consumed with being cold and feeling violent, but but now I'm going to start reaching out to more podcast companies and more people who have podcasts to see if I can get more editing jobs because I really, really, really love podcast editing and I wouldn't be doing my own podcast if I didn't love podcast editing. I love editing in general, obviously being a photographer, videographer, so yeah. Some things that have been keeping me sane (laughs) the past few weeks is I started watching Gilmore Girls again and usually, I mean not every time, but most times when I like start Gilmore Girls slash want to watch Gilmore Girls, I watch the episodes with Jess because I am team Jess and if you're not, you're just wrong. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) It's just my comfort show. Gilmore Girls and Gossip Girl are my comfort shows. Julio's comfort shows are New Girl and The Office. (laughs) We've also been watching a lot of How to Get Away with Murder. We're already on season four, I think, and we started it like on Christmas. (laughs) Very Christmas show, I guess, How to Get Away with Murder. But we really, really love that show. And we saw Laurel's dad, the one who, you know what? Not going to give any spoilers in case you haven't watched it, but we saw the actor who plays Laurel's dad at a cafe this morning that we were eating breakfast at. So that was cool, but we didn't go say hi to him because he was eating. (laughs) And then, yeah, today is Monday, January 16th is when I'm recording this. And something very special comes out today, and that is the Love Island UK winter season and I'm so fucking pumped I got my VPN ready to go (laughs) we're gonna watch it tonight and I'm gonna do TikToks I'm gonna try to do TikToks like every day after the episode airs and talk about my thoughts and reactions about what happened and the people and you know I don't know Love Island obviously you guys know it's 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 so close to my heart (laughs) Love Island UK is the highest form of art. I don't know if I would call Love Island like a comfort show for me because I don't like rewatch it a bunch of times like I do for Gossip Girl and Gilmore Girls, but is it is my favorite like new show. Like it's my favorite show to like keep up with, you know? And I'm just I'm so excited for it. I can't even I can't even explain to you guys. <laughs> Through all this bullshit these past two weeks. I'm like Love Island January 16th. It's going to raise my mood. <laughs> But yeah, okay. That's pretty much it for this week. My question for you guys is, what is your comfort show? And you get bonus points if they're one of mine or one of Julio's comfort shows. I'm just kidding. There's no bonus points here. But please, let me know. 2023 starts now. For me, those first two weeks were just, we don't need to talk about them ever again. Okay. <laughs> Nadira, my dear, dear friend, Nadira, is moving back to Italy and I'm going to miss her so much. We had our last like brunch slash hang with her this past weekend and it was really nice. And I'm not gonna cry (laughs) because that's stupid. But 
I'm really gonna miss her a lot. She's one of the chillest of the chill, <laughs> you know? And she's an avid NMJC listener. She loves this podcast and I couldn't be more grateful for her support. And I know she's gonna I'm I'm so I'm so pumped to see Italy <laughs> on the on the charts for NMJC listeners. I'm so I'm so pumped for that. <laughs> And yeah, I hope she has a safe flight today. She'll already be back in Italy by the time that this airs tomorrow, but safe travels nonetheless. And yeah, I can't wait to visit her in Italy, hopefully this year. So I'll talk to you guys next week. Maybe we'll talk more about like resolutions and stuff since I didn't get to have a podcast up last week where I was going to talk about resolutions and shit, but hopefully your resolutions are going well or or your goals or your routines or whatever you're trying to do I'm trying to implement a morning routine for myself because I have been slacking on that but yeah have a beautiful week you guys and I love you all so much and yeah see you next week bye